the Washington football teams in Detroit. Two bad teams. Two and six is the football team. Three and five are the Lions. Lions are three and a half point home favorites. I get all my odds from Bet365, but on this game and in the Steelers game, Bet365 hasn't listed odds because they're waiting on injuries, COVID, etc., etc., to come out later in the week or at least later after the time I check them. Uh, one and six is the football team straight up in their last seven. Oh and five straight up on the road. Two and five against spread in Detroit. Alex Smith, however, who will be playing as a starting quarterback for Washington, he is five and zero oh in his career versus Detroit. Washington actually allows the fewest passing yards in the NFL. 185.6. No one allows fewer yards through the air. I couldn't believe that stat when I read it. And they have the seventh best passer rating. Or they hold QBs to the 7th lowest passer rating. 87 is the QBR average for quarterbacks who face the Redskins, the football team's defense. My apologies. The under is 8-1-1 one one in this series. The home team is 4-1 against spread. The under is 4-1 when these two teams play each other in Detroit. The Lions, they're 4-1 against spread versus Washington. 5-14 against spread their last 19 overall. 3-14 straight up in their last 17. 0-7 straight up at home. The over is 9-1 in Detroit's last 10 home games. Detroit is 3-1 when Galladay plays this season in the full games. Not very good the rest of the way. Uh, that would make them 3-1, so they'd be 0-4 when he doesn't. Quick little math there. Uh, <laughs> Lions, oh... Don't know what to say. Galladay, that's a big issue because he is questionable this week. I think Washington's going to win this game outright, let alone cover the spread as underdogs. And not only that, but to add to Detroit's woes, three times this year, they fielded 10 men on defense for plays and big plays that have gone against them. Well, two were big plays. One was a two-point conversion. How do you only have 10 men out there for a fucking two-point conversion? I don't understand what is going on in Detroit. I cannot bet on these guys. I don't care if I lose three or five bets this year against them because I'm going to win 10 or 11 betting against them almost every single week. I am on Washington in this game to win and cover the spread.